Hello viewers, welcome to Linux Simply. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, configure and connect Samba client on Ubuntu. So let's get started. At first, I'm going to open the Ubuntu terminal. Now I'm going to update the installed packages. For this, I'm going to use sudo. This sudo command grants administrative privileges and this portion is used to update install packages. Now I'm tapping on the enter button to continue. Now I have to type the password of the root user and pressing the enter button again. After updating, I'm going to install the Samba. Now I'm going to tap on the enter button to continue. Pressing Y and enter button. After the installation, you can also check whether the installation is done or not. So I'm going to check this using where is command. So tapping on the enter button. As you can see, the Samba is installed. That's why it is showing this. If it was not installed, it would not show this thing here. Now I'm going to create a directory, which I'm going to use uh, uh, for sharing uh, files using Samba. So I'm using mkdir command to create the directory. And the name of the directory is uh, Samba share. Now I'm tapping on the enter button to create that. Now I'm going to configure Samba on Ubuntu. For this, I'm going to use this nano is a text editor and uh, this is the configuration file. Uh, now I'm tapping on the enter button. Now I'm tapping the password of the root user and tapping the enter button again. I'm going to add a few lines in this file. After writing these lines, I'm going to save it using Ctrl and I'm going to exit this file using Ctrl X. Now I'm going to restart the Samba services. For this, I'm going to use sudo service smbd restart. After restarting the service, I'm going to add a user that is protected with password. This um, SMB passwd is encrypted password file and this option A indicates the user and this is the name of the user. So now I'm tapping on the enter button to continue and setting a password for the user. And tapping enter button again. Typing the password and enter button again. As you can see, the user is added. After this, I'm going to enable the user. For this, I'm going to use sudo smb password option E and the name of the user, which is Sylvie. And uh, this option E enables the user. Now I'm tapping on the enter button. As you can see, the user is enabled. Now I'm going to connect to Samba Share on Ubuntu. But before that, I'm going to check the IP address of the server using if config command. Tapping on the enter button to continue. As you can see, this is the IP address of the server. Let's use Samba client to connect to the Samba share. Tapping on the enter button to continue on the password of the root user and pressing the enter button again. After installing SMB client, I'm going to access to the 
Samba shared folders. For this, I'm going to use SMB client and the uh, IP address. You have to use your IP address here. Now a slash and the name of the directory I created. Go option and the name of the user of the Samba. Now I'm tapping on the enter button to continue. And password of the user. Once you prompt to enter the password, you will be connected to the command line interface of Samba Share. Now you can implement a variety of commands to interact with the Samba Share. For example, CD, MKDIR, LS, etc. You can also connect to the Samba Share by mounting Samba Share. So for this, I am going to mount uh, Sam Samba Share. Now tapping on the enter button to continue. And the password of the root user and enter button. This portion helps to install the in-kernel CIFS file system, which depends on a package of the user space tools. So for continuing the installation, I'm typing Y and pressing the enter button. Now I'm going to create a mount point using mkdir command. This is the local directory where you will mount the Samba share. Now I'm tapping on the enter button to continue. Now I'm going to use a huge command to mount the Samba share. This mount command is uh, used to attach a removable file system or storage device to a directory. This option T indicates the file system type and uh, this uh, CIFS uh, is the common internet uh, file system and this uh, option O specifies additional options this is the username of the samba share and this is the ip address and this is the um, shared directory of uh, samba server and this one is the local directory where it will you will mount the samba share now i'm tapping on the enter button to continue and the password of the samba share and you are connected to the samba share by mounting samba share that's all for now hope you enjoyed watching this video if you find this complicated you can always read the full article try this out and let me know in the comments below bye bye